Hey, this is Dave with OC Astronomy again, and uh, we're up here on the roof. You'll notice there's a nice uh, new paint job on the deck, and uh, we've got the dome uh, open here today. I wanted to show our install of our pier for the Paramount My T. Uh, so let's have a look. Let's step inside. All right. So here is. Um, Celestron Edge 1100 and it's um, mounted on top of my uh, brand new uh, My T Paramount. The pier is made by a friend of mine here in, uh, in Oklahoma City and it's just your basic uh, thing with a rat cage on top. Um, I probably will lower the rat cage down a little bit. We wanted to install it and see how um, the height was. I think the center of rotation is right about there and in relation to the dome track uh, we want it to be about uh, level and right now we're about two inches high um, and so that puts it a little bit close to the top of the dome but uh, we wanted to install it and get it level and make sure it would work so I did that first and then I'll, I'll uh, lower it down um, using the bolts that we have there it'll also make the rat cage a little bit more stable but with those big old bolts it's not going anywhere and then we mounted it to the floor. Um, the little access panel down here is so that we can get to the electric outlets. Um, we have uh, a couple of, uh, a double gang box of electric outlets and a GFI circuit. And then we have our uh, ethernet connection there. Um, I have a wireless access point that the school has for me, but then I also have a wired connection that I'm gonna use for my computer. Um, and one thing, uh, I got some advice on how to balance this thing. Um, you'll notice I only have the, I have about 60 pounds of counterweights there and uh, I don't have the piggyback scope on top. Um, I got some advice from Tolga at uh, Tolga Astro and he has all the Paramount mounts and he sold tons of them. He, you look on his website, he's got a ton of stuff there. Uh, I'm not sure of all the brands that he has, but he has uh, access to all the Paramount information and software BISC and um, he gave me some advice uh, that I really shouldn't try to push the load limit on this thing um, and right now the, the, the overall load limit is 100 pounds and I, I've got about 60 pounds of counterweights now uh, and the, the, the OTA and the camera and all that weighs about 43 so I'm right at the total capacity of about 100 that's uh, the spec. Um, now one thing, I'm not sure if that spec is for the safety of the mount internals like the bearings and motors and all that or if it's more to do with how how you can get it to perform because maybe if it's over a hundred pounds total capacity uh, it won't be able to get as good a performance as they want out of it. It could also be have something to do with the pier or the the tripod, the portable Mighty tripod uh, being kind of lightweight um, and the total capacity it can hold. So I'm not sure the engineering decisions behind the total capacity limit, um, but just for safety's sake, we'll keep it at spec and keep it right around 100 uh, instead of pushing it. If I have the, the, the piggyback on there, uh, plus the extra counterweights, it runs up to about 120. So I don't want to, uh, you know, overdo my limit by 20 pounds. I think it could probably handle it. I'm pretty sure that the MIT could do it, but since the spec for total load capacity is 100, uh, we'll follow that advice. And another thing uh, Tolga advised me on is, uh, uh, in one of my earlier videos, I had it slowing around on the test stand, uh, and he said that really it was going too fast. And one thing that I should do is uh, lower the maximum slew rate uh, so that it slews slower, uh, say that three times fast, but that way it'll slew a little bit slower and it won't carry as much inertia and it'll it'll uh, get to its final position without you know rocking it too fast and uh, I think that's probably pretty good advice as well so uh, one extra little feature of the stand is it has a little table on the side that's where I'm gonna have my mini PC and all my wiring will go right up to the mount there and it's a very short distance um, so little three-foot cables will do the job um, and then I have my electric down here I'm gonna have a uh, an ups but I'll show you all that once I get it configured. But I wanted to put this video out and, and uh, also say thanks to Tolga for the good advice and uh, show that it, we got it mounted in place. 
and then hopefully in the next day or two I'll get it uh, get it up and running and get the electronics going. There's not much point in getting it going tonight, I don't think. Something tells me. All right, well, this is Dave with OC Astronomy. I'm really excited. Hopefully you'll, uh, as we follow uh, along the progress of getting this, this mount and uh, telescope operating, I hope to be able to go over every aspect of operating a, a, an observatory, um, a little personal observatory, and get and try to do step by step and follow good procedure so that anybody coming along, it'll help you set up your observatory uh, as well. All right, talk to you later.